Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by today. It is New Year's Eve. Blackpool's first day of being in Tier 4. And as you can see, it is very quiet around here. It would be busier usually, I would think, because people would be looking through shops, buying stuff from the sales and I don't know, returning unwanted Christmas presents etc etc There's a good view of St John's Church While I'm walking past I'll show you the new Christmas tree Very much smaller than the last one but it's a real one, it looks beautiful and I very much appreciate the fact that a new tree was brought in to the square we need a bit of cheer what do you think folks it's a nice view i filmed here a lot lately i filmed the original christmas tree i filmed when the original christmas tree good gosh i nearly just walked backwards and fell over that that wouldn't have been very entertaining yeah I filmed the original Christmas tree I filmed when the original one got damaged I filmed when it was gone and I filmed when the new one which is this one was being put in and now there's your footage of the new one standing there all finished and complete to the tower over there still has no flag and Christmas lights are still on let's go look at the Christmas lights people zooming on there you can see how pretty they look everything down here is closed Very few people about, well that makes sense because there's very few shops open. I've just been to Sainsbury's to get a couple of things in for dinner. Did a little walk on the way, a little vlog, got my shopping. And now I'm on my way home and I still didn't get my cinnamon bun coffee. I think I have to just face the sad reality that Sainsbury's is not doing that one anymore. That bit there just reminds me of, you know those like old Mary Poppins movie and it shows your rooftops and stuff. This is Adelphi Street, one of the shorter streets in Blackpool. Runs off Church Street and around the corner in the back of the Winter Gardens. And it finishes at the end here because once we get round the corner it runs on to Carter Street another very short street that is the Staff and Goods entrance back of the Winter Gardens I remember when I was little I think it was there we used to wait outside that door and collect autographs of people And I waited out there once when I was little to collect autographs and some people came out so I asked for everyone's autograph which they very kindly and nicely gave me and I didn't know who most of them were and when I went home and showed my mum the autographs I'd got it was the entire cast of that old show Are You Being Served? And quite a few years later there you go, that is far to street. Quite a few years later, I had a pen friend from America because back then it was the in thing to have a pen pal. And I'm talking about the old handwritten snail mail here, folks. We all had pen friends, and I had this pen friend in America, and we were talking about our hobbies and our likes and our dislikes. And he told me that he was obsessed with the old British show 
are you being served? Apparently they were showing reruns of it in America and he said I love that show so much and he was going on and on and on about how much he loved the show so in my next letter I sent him all the autographs what I had and his response was amazing because he was like oh my god thank you so much thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you and he like wrote a whole page of fancy thank yous and it was I thought it was kind of a cute moment because the autographs didn't mean that much to me and I don't mean that in an insulting sense of the people who signed them I mean thank you to the people who signed them back then but you know this dude was absolutely crazy about that show so I was happy to send the autographs to a place where they would be loved oh, and talking of autographs I actually have a signed photograph from Harrison Ford taken from the set of The Empire Strikes Back because when that movie came out I was really crazy about it and I wrote a fan letter and I think I may have addressed it to Harrison Ford the Millennium Falcon America or I probably addressed it to Han Solo I don't remember but what I do remember is I got a reply back and I'd written this letter how much I loved the movie and how much my sister loved the movie and there was two signed photographs fairly identical so I got one and my older sister got one and after that my younger sister she used to write to celebrities all the time and when my other sister was really really tiny when she was very young, she used to be crazy about an old show on the TV called Chips. I don't know if you remember that one. It was an American show and Chips stood for Californian Highway Patrol and it was like two American cops, Ponch and John, who rode around on the bikes. And my sister, my little sister, she wrote fan mail to them to Ponch and John. Anyway, they wrote back. And they sent her, they did, she didn't just get one signed photograph, which would have actually been awesome. She got several. And I don't know if it was from the actual guys from the show, but it was written to her like it was. It was she got handwritten letters and loads of photographs and stuff. So she wrote back to them again. And they again in turn wrote back to her. And they did a few backward and forward letters, around three or four I think, and she got quite a fantastic supply of signed photos and autographs. And much later on, she wrote a letter to, again, to Harrison Ford from when it was the movie Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. And she was like, oh, I love that, I love you so much in that movie. Can you send us some autographs and stuff? And she got a massive envelope back with about eight big photographs in. They weren't quite full scalp. I think they were the size below, but they were still quite big. And they were, they were black and white photos and they looked like they'd been taken from various moments on the set of the movie. And some of them were signed and some of them weren't signed, but she got a fantastic set of these photographs so then my mum was like you're doing quite well with these photographs and my mum hit on the idea that like she would write to a few celebrities and old style singers she'd like in the past and my mum wrote a ton of letters out but sadly my mum didn't get anything back I guess back then you needed that little childish handwriting scroll and people were more likely to reply to kids I suppose. So yeah I don't know how this video evolved into 
an autograph collection video but there you go it did if i ever find my autograph picture of harrison ford i'm sure i've still got it somewhere i'll take a photo of it so you can see it and anyway i am going to close this video right now so once again thank you so much for watching please leave me a like and maybe a comment and please subscribe and i shall see you all very soon in the next video goodbye